Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're jumping into Devolver Land Expo. As you guys know, I like to bring new games to the channel and to all of you. And then if you guys are enjoying this, please make sure you hit the like button. As you know, things going on in the world has been changing up things. You know, E3 and stuff like that. Well, Devolver Land Expo is here to showcase games in a different way. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious about it. I really am. So I'll put a link in the description field if you want to jump in and do it yourself. Show canceled. Welcome to Future's Future. Show canceled. All right. Well, that's that's not good. Let's see what's here. All bags must be inspected. Well, not my bag. That's for sure. You're not touching my bag whatsoever. May 2020, something to remember. Okay. <laughs> Devolver. That's pretty funny shit. All right. So we got ourselves here. Use. Wow. Anything written on the side there? No, nothing. Just someone decided to scribble. Do you ever have one of these boxes and someone scribbled just like that? Yeah, I've, I've had those boxes in my house and I can't figure out which one's which. I had to redo each and every one of them. Well, here we are. Has been canceled. We're in actually the expo for all the games that are coming. And at the same the time... The is now closed. Please mm -hmm. leave via the nearest exit. That's right. And now... Uh, what the hell is over here? What the frig? Whoa! Okay, is that some kind of security? Shite, that scared the poop out of me, dudes. And dude, that's okay. Uh, okay, let's not activate them. We've activated one by getting too close to it. Okay, let's be careful. There's a few more there. All right, there's some stuff here. From what I saw in a preview, there is stuff we can... Oh, oh, what's this? <gasps> it's like a t-shirt gun? This is a friggin' t-shirt gun, isn't it? Oh my god. Okay, well, they woke up by themselves. I didn't do anything. I swear. Okay, shouldn't touch the t-shirt gun. Oh! <laughs> Freaking ding! That is really cool. What a wonderful way to, for a development team to put together. Oh, wow, there's one of its red up there. Do you see him? I think we have unlimited ammo. Can I go in here? No. Oh, wait. Can I hit this? Oh! Okay, we can hit that. Staff only. Well, I am staff today, dude. All right, what do we have here? South Hall. This is going up there. What if I want to go back and check out the rest of this before I go? Oh! Don't call the police, dude. I'm just here because life has been tough. Devolver. Oh, boy, he's up there. Grab your t-shirt right around the corner. Now, we, well, we grabbed all our stuff here. There's nothing else we can grab, right? I mean, that would be pretty cool if there's more tools, but no, nothing. Hey, you saw nothing. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, let's go up the stairs and check out South Hall and see what this is all about. All right, this is all locked up. Doors are locked. It looks like we find security room. Okay, I think that's where we were at before. All right, well, maybe that's I, maybe I, I actually got it right right away. <laughs> Can I use this as a lift? I wonder if I can use it. I don't know. Maybe we can use it from the top. Can't seem to do it from the bottom. All right. We'll go back in there. I just, uh... Looks like I, I nailed it on the first time. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's that's nice. All right. What do we have here? So, can I close them back up so he doesn't come in here? No. All right. There's some kind of computer here. Not mine. Oh, look. It is a t-shirt. And they shrink. Shrinking t-shirts. There's, there's a big boy up there. All right, well, I guess... Is this a security room? No, I thought this was security. Wow, this guy's like crazy. Just chillax, dude. Gotta go around here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, well, not for me, dude, because we got a pass now. That's right. Oh, look at that. Very, very cool. Can I control this? No, but there's a whole bunch of different expositions here we can check out. Okay, you can't go back upstairs here. Can't jump it. No. I still want to use the scissor left. I don't know why. Can I go down or not? No, it doesn't let me do it. I'm not sure what happens if they find me. They scan the shit out of me. Do they kick us out of this place? Don't you dare, dude. No touching me in places you should be touching. Uh, wait, I had a pass. 
What am I saying? I have to go back the other way. Other way. Sorry. Drawing smack of the robots. Did you wake up? Good for you. <laughs> Let's get to the south hall. Open door in south hall. Saying that right there on top. All right. All right. So with my pass, it gives me... Oh, nice. Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, my God. That's serious. Can I shoot that thing? Is that just going to shoot him off? Don't fall in there. Man, they were pretty serious about uh, security in this place. It doesn't look like I have to hit that button, maybe. But I don't know. It is what it is. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm deviating, that's for sure. What? For processing? Hidden... Oh, a stash. We have to find some stash, too? It's pretty cool. At each booth, or I don't see any more stuff. Oh no, that's a shitty toss uh, shot. There you go, boom. That's locked. Do I have a flashlight or anything? No, I didn't bring a flashlight with me. No. So this kid's like, I don't. I'm not bothered with this. I'm going to be going to this expo whether you like it or not, assholes. In video. Hey, wake him. Oh, shit. Some kind of grid going in my face. Oh, my God. They're all over the place now. They're on me. They're on me. What the hell? Stop it, dude. I just want to check out NVIDIA. Oh. Okay, maybe not. They're, they've sealed the exit for me. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to uh, find a way around there. What is this? Controller? Oh, wow, he's really not being nice with me. I'm looking for any kind of hidden loot, too, because I don't know if that gives you some kind of special stuff or not. This is very interesting. Oh. Ah, a little shit. I want to check out a video. I just came back. Oh, my God, another one. Oh, another one. There's three of them. Shit. Shut up, dude. No means no. Okay. Anything else around here? I don't think there's any more loot or stuff. Oh. No, there's nothing else around here. Okay, let's just check out the NVIDIA. Because it looks freaking awesome. This guy's just been like, Alright, I just woke up. Everything's fine now. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going back to bed. I'm going back to bed. Alright, so there's nothing in the video. There's some kind of uh, expo right there. Carry on. Alright. Leave me alone. I'm a family man. That's locked too. Wow. It's a little dangerous. Okay. Well, what's this? Whoa! Anybody else want to come in here? Do you, do you want to follow through? Because that shit looks like it's dangerous. What the hell was that? Oh, that is cool. I had to shoot it just to make sure. All right, explore carry-on booth. Whoa, what's that? Okay, so it's showcasing this game. <laughs> That's pretty original. I wonder if we're the creature. I guess we are, right? Yeah, we are. Oh my god, that's devastating. <laughs> okay, we'll check out other games. It looks pretty cool. I can continue watching just like this. Marketing objective complete. All right. Look at us, Mr. Marketing Exec. Uh, check. Oh, nice. Boom. Objective complete. Where's this going? Nowhere. A dead end. Excuse me. How did you get to the. I got lost. <laughs> okay, some screens here of the gameplay. Do a little test out. Very nice. Looking again for anything that might be 
Uh, collectibles and stuff. I'm not sure how many we need to collect. It doesn't really tell me anywhere. That I know of. Any tab button? No. Okay. That's some sick shit, dude. That's what we, that's what we play as? What if I shoot right in the middle? Open up. Open up again. A little more. A little. No. Had to test it out. All right, there's some uh, stairs going up here, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Still. Oh, there we go. Acquired hidden secrets. I'm not sure what that does, but maybe each one of these places has one hidden secret. So we'll have to be uh, careful. All right, right path. Not online. All right. Stay in the corner, asshole. So that game there was called Carry On, if you guys want to check it out. That's pretty, uh... Pretty different. What the hell? I'm looking for any kind of good stuff. Stay quiet. This is called Non-Line. Ah, uh, I should have waited a bit, right? There we go. Non-line. No, uh, and online, I guess. I don't know. Might be another game. I'm not sure what the heck this is actually. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. See, I'm looking for those extras because I, I want to get them all because it's gonna get like that. But you know, I don't think uh, each one of them has it like I thought they would. Be quiet. Yeah, nothing. They pretty much stick out like a sore thumb anyways, don't they? So it's not like it's hard to find, but... Alright. Well, maybe it is. One more for the road? <laughs> okay, so we're back out to this expedition here. Looks like it's quite big. This one, yeah. What's it called? Weird... Weird West, I think it is? Sit down. Nothing around here. I like the uh, little drawing style nest. It's cute. Nothing there. I guess we can go in from either way we want to. Left or right. Alright. There are many elements that set Weird West apart from any other action RPG out there. And I would love to show you a few examples now. Okay. This is Rafael Colantonio, creative director and president of Wolfi Studios, and I'm here today to tell you about our current game in development, Weird West. At its core, Weird West is an action RPG set in a fantasy reimagining of the Wild West. You play through the adventures of five heroes that have intertwined destinies on a quest to unveil one of the biggest mysteries of the Weird West. While we describe Weird West as an action RPG, some would actually refer to the game as an immersive sim. There are many elements that set Weird West apart from any other action RPG out there, and I would love to show you a few examples now. First, the simulation and sandbox nature of Weird West. The bulk of the team is composed of co-creators of Dishonored and Prey, so simulation is like a religion to us. It is in our DNA to let the players play their own way. Weird West is designed in a way that accommodates many playstyles and many playthroughs. Whether you like combat or trickery or stealth or a mix of all of that, you'll enjoy experimenting with the tools the game offers in a system-rich and physically simulated world. Next, the setting and visual direction. The setting is Weird oh, wow. West, you guessed it. It's an opportunity for us to explore a genre that has been kept underground, and we're excited about bringing our own take on it. As far as the visuals, we're going for a mix of 3D with hand-drawn textures and uncommon palettes that we think bring a unique style to the game. We want our world to be instantly recognizable and convey the mystery that is so important to the experience. Now, let's talk about how scripted 
versus how dynamic is the experience. Oh, that's very cool. While the game has a main quest, the events and the quests outside of the main path make use of what we call the conductor, which creates events and crafts a narrative that is specific to each playthrough. Huh. For example, let's say you kill one of these merchants while the other one escapes. The survivor will throw a vendetta at you and chances are they'll ambush you later when you expect it the least. Oh, interesting. This participates to the feeling of a very tailored experience per player. Finally, one more thing I wanted to mention is that your actions are permanent in Weird West. While you may resurrect when killed, your companion won't resurrect if you did not have a chance to revive them on time. And whatever oh. choices you've made will stay in the game. So, stealing shops and killing people have consequences you cannot discard by coming back in time with a simple game reload. We think it is a powerful way to give meaning to your actions and keep the tension high. That looks really cool. I have to admit that that one actually looks really nice. I also like the graphics style. The art today. style is beautiful. Some would actually refer to the game. All right, so very, very cool. I went to visit this part here. I kind of stayed a little bit away from there because I'm not sure if that is a copyright thing. But yeah, it looks awesome. I didn't find anything else around there. But I think we need to continue going right now. Proceed to the next hall. Yeah? How about that? Uh, how do we get to the next hall, by the way? Is there an uh, exit? Oh, there it is. One second. Let me stick everyone. Thank you. Okay. Ah, okay. There we go. Just using the arrows, keys. Boom. Let's piss them off. That's a great idea. Ouch. Damn, dude. You need to calm down. That security is a little bit too hardcore. I guess we're going to use the scissor lift. That's beautiful. Let's see the next hall. That's what we're doing. Absolutely. Let's use this. Always wanted to test one of these out. I don't know why. See these guys driving around with them. Never got to. Small things. Oh, there's one right here. Two to four. Collected for announced games. All right. So there must be multiple things we have to collect. It doesn't tell me exactly like how much I have each. It's a little bit of a work site here, I guess. We just jump down. Looks a little dangerous. We're good. South Hall. And that goes to South Hall that we were in before. Gotcha. Ah, oh, crap. I hate these things. Okay, it's going to go down. We're going to have to get ourselves through here. Alright, well, that wasn't so bad. There's an exit here. Ah, oh, crap. I got hit a little bit, I think. Oh, no, I was able to... Oh, yeah, I can just kind of j throw myself across here. Okay. Let's see if we can do that again. Without killing ourselves. Yeah, you just slide right across. And that is no way in hell. That is... They're making me go through another door, right? Okay, let's start off with this first bathroom. Maybe we have something in here. Yeah, I have to tell you, if more development teams do that... Or PR... Ah! <laughs> More PR teams use this. It's a pretty darn cool idea to promote games. Especially the E3 being, uh, and other things like that, big events like that, not being uh, able to run for a bit. Which hopefully very shortly, you know, we keep positive outlook. We still have each other. We're still together. Be Kimmy. I really need to go through this thing? Oh, shit. How the hell? That doesn't go very high, dude. Oh, wait a second. There's a button like the security thing over there. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, just about to do the jump, and now when it came close. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Someone's vacuuming around here. Not really doing a good job. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. All right. Oh, I've been to these little briefing rooms. It takes a while. Expo assembly team. These are the people who actually worked on this. Very nice. 
required three to four items very nice so yeah kudos to all you uh you find people going up and down from here pretty darn cool i'm liking what i'm seeing roof the roof is on fire seems like there have been more games than that did i miss something on my way through here maybe i did if i did you guys are going to check it out for yourselves to the real link 2020 all right ha 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 very funny it's far from finished is it stopping oh cool i was thinking i got to go on there no nothing else around here no hidden stuff okay go left or right we'll leave a t-shirt for the guy who's working here Ooh, spooky as shite. I can hear you scurrying like a rat. Jeez, dude. Try this one first. And, uh, the only one that's looking too promising. Oh, I guess this one doesn't look promising. Oh. Three to four collected. It's good to go and look around a little bit. Never know. I love this. Ah, oh, shit! Oops. Um, I made a bit of a mess, just a little bit. All right. Well, there actually is more. Holy crap! This place is big. Inspect Evolver Glove, uh, Glove of Power MK2. Got, got no idea what that means, but we'll definitely inspect it because I still want to see the rest of this. Got my you curiosity. Faraday, a shipwreck captain. You followed his adventure to rescue. We are Skeleton Crew Studio from Kyoto, Japan, and we invite you to take a sneak peek at the story, mechanics, and the challenges in our all new game, Oria, from the darkness. All right, so if you guys want to check it out, it looks really cool. It's for some reason, it took a while for you to get out of that, but that was very, very cool. Not really my style of game, but I know there's a lot of people who like different kind of games, so it's always nice that, you know, there's a game for everybody. There are five major boss fights in Leah. I searched everything out. A new character story okay. Well. Uh, he's, he's good. There's also over here another one. Oh, that's for the last one. That one I do want to see. Power of Palm on your hand. Busted. I want it. What is that thing? I want it. I don't know why, but I just want it. Oh, there's a box full of them. Oh, wait a second. Come here. You're moving. See if I can move this into position across there and cause a problem. Yes. Now this work when I shoot you. But you bet you I got a roller ass there. Nope. Give me the glove. Alright, well it's not working. It's okay. But I wanted it. Just remember that. Blight bound. Lightbound, a cooperative dungeon crawler that tasks three heroes to venture down from their mountain refuge to face the abominations of the Blight, a mysterious and corrupting fog that enshrouds the land. Each player will choose a hero from one of three classes. Warrior. Forge Titan's might! Assassin. Let me at him. Or mage. My greatest power is battle a terrifying horde of monstrous enemies and colossal bosses. Each class of hero fulfills a specific role on the team to All right. overcome Well, it's a, if you're interested in that, that's pretty cool. You can look it up. And uh, we're going to look around here see if we can find anything else. Damage. Was that something? No. Battle through three distinct lands. Each with several dungeons to conquer, including the eerie. Alright, where else? There must be something here. Underhold, 
and the precarious blood reach. Got kind of a marker there, I don't know what it is. And prepare once again to enter the blight warrior. Did I miss it or what? What the hell? We Blightbound. So if you're interested in that again, you know, very cool. Go and check out Devolver PR or Devolver itself and check out that game online if you want to. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else here, dude. So I, I don't... Oh, there it is. Frick, great in front of you, damage. Blightbound. Alright. Yes, I know. I know all your secrets, asshole. Every one of them. Including sure your robots are like a mile away. Oh, what a shot. Two for two. There's still one more dude, but he's going to take a while to show back up, and I don't have time for that shot. But this is so friggin' cool. I hope other dev teams uh, work at doing this. VIP zone. Why can't I go into VIP? I want into VIP, dude. All right, and here's a big one I've for sure. Serious Sam 4. I know a lot of people like that game. Holy shite. Scary shit right there. Stay asleep. Got bombs in the head there. Okay. Shoot you. You have seen too much. You will pay for your insults. Oh yeah? How are you gonna pay it? You're gonna shoot another little stupid robot like this at me? Which we're taking out with a t-shirt gun, seriously, dude? Wow, okay, prepare language is included. <laughs> I had a lot of people who love this game. Oh, it's actually gonna launch me one way or another. So I guess we're gonna have to see it. I was an explorer once. Captain Sam Stone of the Surveyor. It was good. Hell, it was awesome. truth is, they don't care about who we used to be or what we wanted to do. But if they thought this was going to be easy, they came to the wrong fucking planet. War. Jesus. That, that is some pretty crazy stuff. Uh, wow. Woo. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wow. Uh, can we pick up the gun, though? Nope. I think we got everything. I was an explorer once. Look at that. A little bulk of vests and statues and stuff. I expected to find maybe one last thing over here. It doesn't look like there may be one. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't look like it. The truth is, they don't care about who we used to. We really checked the top either. To but they thought this was gonna be easy. They oh. came to the wrong fucking planet. Oh, a t-shirt that sticks on top of it. War! War! Use! One of four. Collect them for ounce. I think three. God damn it, I didn't see the other ones. Those garbage bags could have been very easy to find if I all well, easy to miss, I should say. Yeah, if more studios do this, this is going to make it a lot more fun. Damn, dude, that music is friggin' loud. Alright, there's one guy the bomb back here. And I think we got everything here that we could. Unless I'm missing it, whatever. I mean, you guys can jump in and tell me where it was, because at this point, I need to get out and check out what's next. Okay. We never got to do the VIP. That's too bad. Okay, a whole bunch of screens here. PR marketing. Indigo Pearl. Gotcha. Cosmo cover. Does it hurt? What the difference between the red one is? Oh, can I take this out for a run? Oh, that would be so cool. Oh, 
Oh, how could I miss that one? Alright. Looks like a whole bunch of stuff that didn't have a chance to finish up here. Wow. How are you doing? Nothing here either. Out of doors. Just to make sure. Don't want to get caught missing something. Oh, you're back. You're back. You're gone. You're gone. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> to tell you, I kind of enjoyed this a lot. More than I thought I would have. I wasn't too sure about this. It's shaking? Why is it shaking? Oh, because this stuff. Oh, you need to go up here. Oh, what the frick is this? Oh, what the frick is this? Oh, you can hit them? You fell it flat on your face. Want to get back up, buddy? No? Good. Can I take them out? They're like Teletubbies. Little jelly bean tub. I'm actually killing these things. All right, yeah. Uh, let me just continue shooting you guys after I can watch that. Not my style. That's it. It's for younger kids, it's like a hungry, hunger hippo, and I guess wipeout kind of thing. I guess it would be funny to play, kind of like uh, a small little game. You guys want to check it out for yourself? It's uh, Fall Guys, I think it's called. Yeah. I might have killed all the characters though, so uh, maybe nothing left over. I'm trying to see if there's. A... Stop it! Stop getting excited about nothing. I'm like all your friends are dead. What the hell? Go down, dinosaur. Barney was a dinosaur. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> okay. I, I have to finish him off. There we go. Now, now I feel better. We've got some controllers here. Some guys over there with guns and stuff. Don't know what the hell that's about. Oh, that's not guns. These guys are ripping off people. Right, I guess a trampoline right there. I don't see anything else, by the way, that you can grab for a marketing or anything like that, so I'm not sure if that's in here. It could be easily missed, though. There's so much going on in this place. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, oh, there's a top level to that. Maybe it'd be in there. That's what I would put it if I was hiding stuff. Yep. Found all the collectible announcement game. Nice. Do we get something special for that? Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Well, this game just keeps on going. I missed that shot totally, man. Killed a whole bunch of tall tubbies and I still didn't make it. Disc. Rom, right? Disc room? Disc room. I'm not sure what that's about. This place doesn't stop. It's so big. Oh, I'm so hungry for hamburger right now, too. And if you guys don't know my addiction, one of my addictions is hamburgers. I think uh, if I get to go places, I, I try hamburgers from everywhere that I can. Yeah, I, I got issues. Oh, what's this? What the frig is this? What the frig? Oh. To investigate. Oh no no no! Not not I couldn't play this if I wanted to. That that would be way too tough for me to play. Okay, uh, did I get something special in this room? I don't see any bags or anything else. Jeez, this whole place has been put together nicely. Though I like this cartoony look. It's really cool. Very very cool. All right. Thank you. Alright, I just checked the back end. There was absolutely nothing left over there, so the only thing left here is Shadow Warrior 3. That's pretty cool. I know what Shadow Warriors is. I've not... I don't think I've played them yet. Oh, I don't think I have. 
Did I play one? I think I played Shadow Warrior 1. Well, Red Shadow Warrior 3. This is actually quite gorgeous. I should take my time. They devs did a great job. Butterflies, little leaves falling down. Red bamboo. Wow. Was I supposed to shoot him? I wasn't sure what the hell to do. He scared the crap out of me. In the game, you always do? You always check the waterfalls. That's where people hide shit. Nothing. Alright, let's check out Shadow Warriors 3. Let's do this. Well, howdy, stranger. Lang, where are you? Can you hear me? Demons, they're trying to break through the gates. I'll track you down. Gee, that's pretty high paced. I do like the grappling though. Alright, is there anything up here? I bet that happened Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's go back around here. Yeah, I do like different kind of games too, trust me. I, I, it's not everything, but this one looks like a, a little bit of a nice stress reliever. Oh, dude, he looks gross, too. Damn, that's bloody. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Okay. There's a big dude. Alright, there's nothing here. Check and see. This is absolutely stunning. The work they put in this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, I say. Wow. Did they put some kind of offering in here? There's a second one. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm be lucky to find all four of those. I'm pretty sure I messed up and left something behind. They're pretty good at the rest. Oh, yes. Let me look at that. Nice little samurai sword. Nothing else around here. So I guess we're people are all testing out the games. Lucky folks. All right. Zip line. These are the you will never the There's a glove. What? Oh, wow. Can I pick up anything else in this place? Nope. Ooh, give me that glove. VIP zone. Oh, what? He's gonna shoot for real shit. The guy's not the guy's not joking. There's a boss in this. I don't know if I'm supposed to, these boxes are gonna hurt him very much. Holy shiznit. I think I hit him. Are we supposed to hit those buttons or what? Oh, I shoot t shirt stuff, dude. Shit. 
shit. Jesus. Hey, look. You want a camera? There might be those buttons on the bottom, I think. I'm starting to see them spark up a bit. Shit. Ow! Is he not dead yet? Damn it, dude! Holy shit, it's following me. What the hell? He is doing some damage. Um. Down to one arm. Holy crap. Whoa, dude! Take this a little seriously. There we go. Well, that took a little while, but there's really nowhere to hit to set to throw it at him constantly. Woo! Well. Did I miss anything in the stands here for us to pick up? I don't think so. I got to see pretty much everything. Let's go down here. Oh, look. Just because this glove is fun as hell. Anything else around here? No. Very sparky of them. Oh, I guess that's it for you, dude. And that's how I leave this place. <laughs> oh, that was fun, dude, to do it. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself and have a little bit of fun, it's a free download on Steam. There's a link in the description field. Very, very cool. Like what I've seen just on our webpage. Just, it popped up like that to show. And yeah, Devolver Land, the future, future has been canceled. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. You guys are the best. And again, if you're enjoying to see new stuff, make sure you like button, get a confidence. Thank you for your amazing support. This game edge. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.